A new report from the environmental watchdog group Tennessee Riverkeeper reveals just how much contamination is legally dumped into Alabama waterways each year. It's information compiled directly from the Environmental Protection Agency. WHNT News 19's Al Whitaker is taking action to show you what's in the water. A recent analysis of data reported by industry to the EPA reveals almost 10 million pounds of toxic materials were dumped into Alabama waterways in 2015. That according to a release from Tennessee Riverkeeper. David Whiteside is the founder and executive director of that organization. And he says, when you look at the data, it shows the Tennessee River is the most polluted watershed in the state. And he says the companies dumping the waste all have a permit to pollute. These companies are making a lot of profits and they internalize their profits. They keep the profits for their executives and their shareholders, but they externalize their waste. Whiteside says their study focused on chemicals, compounds, and heavy metals that are known to cause health problems and even cancer. He says communities all along the Tennessee River have sacrificed the health of their residents and the environment in the name of economic development, he compares it to domestic terrorism. I really hate to look at it in those terms, but it, that, that's exactly what's going on here. There are people in West Morgan and East Lawrence County who are absolutely afraid to drink their water and, and probably have been consuming contaminated water because of these, chem because of these companies. Whiteside predicts the recent controversy over drinking water in the area is a mere preview of other problems yet to come to light. From Decatur, Al Whitaker, WHNT News 19. Earlier this year, customers of the West Morgan East Lawrence Water Authority were cautioned not to drink their water because of the levels of various PFC compounds. Now that warning was lifted after a new filtration system was put online. And coming up on WHNT News 19 at 630, a call to action. 